Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Howell High School is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center's Southern Campus in Lakewood. Cold snack on a four game win streak. The Cougars hosting Howell on Saturday afternoon. Chris Scully gave Colts Neck a 7-0 lead on a 28-yard touchdown run on the opening drive. Second quarter, Howell draws even. Fourth and one, and Shane Fox cashes in. A three-yard touchdown run. The Rebels knock things up at seven. Howell gets the ball back, and Colts Neck's defense steps up. Great pressure up front. This pass is picked off by Matt Selly, and he's got a clear path down the sideline. Selly goes 26 yards on the pick six. Big time play right there. Colts Neck is energized, taking a 14-7 lead. Later in the second, the Rebels with a fourth and one near midfield, and the Cougars defense responds again. Will Surdez with the stop. He's one of the best linebackers on the shore. Colts Neck takes over at the Howell 40 with 3.04 to go. And it's Scully working the Cougars downfield. He does such a great job of picking up yards after contact Scully paced by that great offensive line. And here's Chris Scully, three yards into the zone with just 46 seconds to go. Second touchdown run of the game for Scully and at the half, Colts Neck with a 14-7 lead. The Cougars lean on their defense in the second half. The Rebels driving, but there's a fumble. James Bertan right there to come up with the recovery. Howell was trying to get something going. Jack Gartenstein throws it downfield. Kevin Maloney wins the battle for the ball. What a great catch. Howell was able to rack up 253 pass yards, but we head to the fourth. The Rebels still looking to get on the board, trailing 21-7. Howell with another fourth down near midfield. How about that Colts neck D one more time? The pass is swatted down by Eric Lorero. The Cougars defense shine throughout. Here's Ethan Sloan on the interception. Three turnovers in all produced by the Colts Neck defense, and that allowed the Cougars to work down the clock on the other side of the ball. Late in the fourth, Howell was able to find the end zone. Gartenstein from a yard out. Colts Neck would block the extra point, so it's 21-13 with 1.04 to go. The Rebels need an onside kick, but Colts Neck is able to fall on the attempt. And how about those Cougars? Five straight wins. Colts Neck also wraps up a share of the Shores Constitution Division title. 21 to 13 is your final. Colts Neck's defense has given up just over 10 points a game during this five game win streak. Chris Scully runs for 112 yards and two touchdowns. He tops the 1,000 yard mark in game six with 13 touchdowns on the ground. The Cougars close the regular season at Wall and hosting Marlboro with a chance to earn a solid seed and a home playoff game. Reporting from Colts Neck, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.